You can't be the same person with everybody. You have to be who you are, but who are you really? A lot of who you are has to be determined on the environment you're in, who you're dealing with, because you can't deal with everybody the exact same. You're not gonna get the same experience or the same results with every person being the same type of person. You do have to adapt to who you're, who you're around. When you say, this is who I am, don't put yourself in the box of one thing because there's a lot of different elements that make you who you are. You know, just because you label yourself a good person or a nice person, there are moments in life when you, somebody's gonna trigger you to be a person that's not so nice. So if you have that in you, then you can't, you can't try and hide the parts of yourself that aren't so prominent because those parts of you are a part of you as well. Like that makes you who you are. We're not just all light beings and we're not all just dark beings. So you can't just label yourself one thing. So that's why it's important to be a chameleon and to adapt to your situation. And it's not that you have to become another person because whatever you're capable of showing, that's who you are. So you gotta understand who you're dealing with. If somebody's treating you like shit, what you look like continuing to be the good, the good person? Everybody does not deserve the same energy. That's why you can't give everybody the same energy. And just because you give different people different energy, I don't mean you're inconsistent or fake. That means you're smart. That means you're assessing the situation and the people you deal with and you're dealing with people accordingly. The same thing with people that walk around being cruel because the world has hardened you and you feel like you gotta deal with everybody in that kind of way. Like you might come and you might come from an environment that required you to be uh, hard, and maybe it required you to be a little devious. Maybe it required you to move in an aggressive way. That don't mean you have to deal with everybody on that principle, on that fucking energy. You have to assess where you are and who you who, who you are dealing with. This is a necessity of life. You gotta know where you are. Like, are you gonna deal with your boss at work the same way you deal with your wife? You know, are you gonna deal with a girlfriend the same way you deal with a hoe? You know, are you gonna deal with your mom the same way you deal with your dad? It's, it's different, man. Like, you have to be, <laughs> you have to know how to, how to adapt. So yeah, don't get caught up in trying to be the same person all the time. Embrace all the elements that make you who you are and know when to show each part of yourself. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how to know when to show what to show, it's just follow your instinct. Like, you're gonna know when you need to turn up. You're gonna know when you need to be calm. You're gonna know when somebody's trying you or when you need to uh, show a different part of your personality in order to get what you want out of that situation or that person or to let that person know what it is. You can't have people thinking that they just gonna get the best parts of you in every situation. Every, everybody does not deserve to see your best. And sometimes the best decision will require a person to get the energy from you that they need to get from you and not necessarily the energy that they want to see or that they expect it. Because once a person feels like they know who you are, then they, can feel, they feel like they're going to get that person all the time and they can just throw anything at you and they're going to get that, that person. No, you need to let people know, uh... You don't know me like you think you know me. People like to put you in a box. Don't let nobody box you into one thing. Let a person know, oh, it, this, this shit can get flipped real quick. I can be a different type of person very quick if you don't respect me the way that, that I need you to respect me. You get caught up trying to be the same person 24 seven. You wanna put this unnecessary weight on yourself to be good and kind in all situations and you're going to wind up getting stepped all over and i've been in that situation that's why i can speak this way i'm really specifically speaking to good-hearted people that want to just be good all the time but this can apply to anybody that tries to put themselves in a box of who you think you are you're bigger than who you think you are as you live life you start to understand like there's different parts of this life that are going to pull different parts of you out you have to learn who you are as you live life. Who you are is gonna evolve. So that's why you can never feel like you know completely who you are, because you're forever changing and you're forever learning. So you have to embrace these things.
And as you learn more, you start to act in different ways. You start to behave differently. This is why, you know, a lot of times parents won't recognize their kids once their kids get to be a certain age. And you're not supposed to. You're not ever you're, you're never supposed to feel like you know your kids because they're forever growing and changing. You got to continue to learn a person. And if you ever feel like you know a person and you really know a person and they don't ever change, then that person's stuck. They're not changing. They're not growing. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing to feel like you're just going to be the same way forever. Like, no, nah, man, keep your spirit, keep your true spirit, but for, always learn and always grow and challenge yourself to to think differently and move differently because this life is going to require you to change in that way. It's going to require you to change because if you stay the same, you're not going to be able to survive in this life. You're not going to be able to move the way you need to move if you don't get out of your own way and your own patterns of behavior and your connection to these things that you've learned. And it's like, oh, it's like you learn this first way to be throughout this first part of your life. And then you think that's who you are. No, nah, man, you still got more growth. You still got more expansion and it's gonna require you to kill these old ideas of who you believe you were. Yeah, and that's just gonna make you a better person overall. You're gonna know how to like pull certain parts out of this personality that you've developed. And maybe not personality, it's like, it's learned behavior. All of who we are is pretty much learned behavior. You know, you have your natural mannerisms, like you might naturally be outgoing or talkative. You might naturally be shy. You might naturally be passive or aggressive. You might naturally be uh, an introvert or an extrovert. But who you are naturally has to be expanded. You can't just be your natural self in every situation. And that do, again, that does not make you fake. This makes you smart because you start to understand there's a time and place to be who you naturally are. And there's a time and place to learn to be a little bit more than that natural self so that you can you can move around. You just got to learn that through time, though. So keep living and keep learning. And again, don't put yourself in a box.